Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for MassiveSynth.com. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSRtuts, that's T-U-T-S. In today's video, I'm going to show you a feature that I feel like is a lesser known, definitely a lesser used, and sometimes forgotten feature inside the synth. I forget it's there sometimes, and I always kick myself when I do. So let me play this progression I have worked up for you real quick. Right, so it's a pluck and you can modulate things out to make it more of a lead type sound. Well, I wanna talk about the mono switch for your vibrato controls inside of Massive. So go to your oscillator tab, that's where your vibrato is housed at. And you'll see here, there's this mono switch and I currently have it engaged. We might be thinking, well, that's kind of backwards or an oxymoron because this isn't a monophonic sound. I'm clearly playing chords and multiple notes. Well, that's how this monophonic control works. It's backwards of how you would typically think of a mono switch acting. When it's engaged, it's only going to apply the vibrato to one note at a time, as opposed to adding it to the whole sum of all your notes and your voices. So it's a much more controlled effect. So you can hear what it's doing. You can still hear the vibrato, but if I disengage this mono, Do you hear how it's, it's multiplying the amount of the vibrato effect that you actually hear? And it's losing its musicality. So what this is for is when you're playing polyphonic sounds and you want to have vibrato in your sound so it's more interesting. Like if I turn this vibrato off, it's a really generic kind of you know, vanilla styled pluck that we've all heard a million times. Well, this vibrato makes it a little bit more interesting. But with the mono switch disengaged, it's not very musical. So let me turn that back on. And there you go. You can use it with much higher depth rates when you have that mono switch engaged for your polyphonic sounds. So like I said, works kind of backwards. It's definitely uh, something that's very helpful to use because I've sometimes been trying to get like vibrato controls to work with my polyphonic sounds and I'll end up mo starting to modulate with like a really short envelope, like this type of shape. And then I usually will remember when I'm halfway through that process, wait, there's a mono switch, just turn it on. So there you go. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.